Oh. Hello everybody, I'm David Renshaw I'm from Bus Use UK, which is the national passenger um, rights organisation for bus users. And the cuts that we're about to see in the greater Bristol area, and in Bristol in particular, could be absolutely devastating. If they go ahead and Marvin goes ahead and Labour Mayor make a million pounds with the bus service cuts in a city region where we require bus services 24-7, we will be left with parts of Bristol without bus services after 8 o'clock at night. We'll be left with bus services to parts of South Bristol that won't run on a Sunday. And we will be left with places like Hillfields, places like Knoll West, Hartcliffe, Withywood, these are the parts of the city, Hillfield, where the buses don't pay through subsidy, they require huge amounts of subsidy. In March, this council will meet again in its cabinet to decide the future of the public transport network that this council wants to put in place with South Gloucestershire, Baines and North Somerset. At that meeting, the cuts will go through and we could end up with less buses on the road in September. The only services that will remain are the ones on the main roads where First can turn a profit or Wessex can turn a profit providing the service. So the ones profited by Wessex, the 500 group of services, the services that go through Hillfields and Kingswood and across the Bristol Parkway will simply disappear. You'll have a situation where young people will not be able to get to college and university. You'll have a situation where young people and elderly people will be trapped in their own homes because there won't be buses to take them simply down to the shops. These services have been taken for granted, but in the budget document that the mayor put out, despite the fact he's going for a combined authority with a metro mayor of Bath and North East Somerset, South Gloucestershire and uh, Bristol, the bus services will be handed to the Metro Mayor in a much cut back state. We've got to oppose cuts to public transport in this city. It's gridlocked. The Mayor talks about setting up a congestion task force. Fine, but his only answer to that is to improve the public transport. And that means putting more buses on the road, higher frequencies, cheaper fares, and improving the local rail services like the Seven Beach Line. Again, there is very, very limited funding for improving local rail within the city. We've got stations which are not accessible to disabled people, people with um, access problems, elderly people, people like Julie Boston have fought for years to get these stations improved. And we still have not moved much further forward than where we were 20 years ago when Avon was abolished. We cannot allow these sort of cuts just to go through and a Metro Mayor to come in and say, we're going to make it better. So I urge everybody to make sure that Marvin hears the message about public services. And equally, if you want to go and complain about the service they provide you, you won't have the customer service information points around the city because they'd have shut them down as well. So they've really got to look and they've got to make the case as the South West of London. And what I'm not hearing is the case for the West Country in Parliament to make a better uh, public transport service. The, the meeting for the bus service cuts will be the March at uh, the March um, uh, cabinet. So that's when we need to make sure that we find. And at that meeting, hopefully the representations from user groups, but also from like Sir Julie in the corner there, and also from the likes of RMT, TSSA, ASLEF, etc. TSSA, thank you.